Hi everybody, it's Mitzi Curry here visiting Naples, Florida, and I'm at Up for Grabs, a consignment shop, and this is where my mom sells her antiques and collectibles. So come on in and I'll show you what she has. Hi, Hi. this is my mom, everybody. All right. Let's, let's go take a look at your showcase. All right. This way. Okay. Here we are at my mom's showcase at Up For Grabs, and she sells her antiques in this showcase right here. And she does really well. Just with this amount of space, she can fit quite a few things in there. She specializes in several different types of antiques, and we're gonna point some of those things out today. start with this right here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this beautiful piece right here, Mom? Well, this is a chair. I might read a little bit. A daisy salad compo is by Griffin Smith and Hill. It's one of the best known Majelica uh, companies. companies mm -hmm. Yes. I love everything they do, but this is one of my favorite because of the color. I always look for the color of the interior as well because of the pretty lavender right. color. I love it too. Pink and turquoise sometimes is in here. Yeah. And um, they were never too particular with their glazes. You'll find drips sometimes of glaze. Mm -hmm. That's um, okay too. Mm -hmm. That's kind of typical. Yes. They weren't real precise, but they just have a cheerful look. Right. And um, just real cheerful colors and bright happy and whimsical. That's why I love Majelica. I do too. I yep. love Majelica. She collects it and I collect it. I have 185 pieces and <laughs> Missy must have about 65. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So it's, we're in on this together. We are. We both collect it and we love it. I would like you to pull down that uh, sunflower syrup pitcher. Yes. That's one of my favorites. All right. This is a syrup pitcher, also Majelica. This one happens to be blue with the uh, cornflower on it. And it also comes in a pretty shade of rose or pink. They mm -hmm. usually have a pewter lid, and oftentimes you find them without the lid. But they're more sought after when they have the lid. Mm -hmm. And uh, They're very breakable. I mean, yeah. a lot of times the handle will break off, or this will chip and break. Right. And you end up with just the lid. So yes. they're very valuable when they're all in one piece like this. So. Well, this is probably one of the most expensive ones. Mm-hmm. It's a nice oh, find. Yes, yeah. nice find. Nice buy for somebody as well. Yeah, yeah. Peace, I you? love it, yeah. Yeah, I love it too. It's really nice. Right? And the shell and seaweed is the next one. Can you get the shell? Yes. Shell and seaweed is another. Every collector should have some pieces of shell and seaweed in their collection. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. probably the, the most expensive of all the pieces, but it's lovely. You can see the pretty plate up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a popular pattern. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and um, I think we'd like to point out some other things you've collected over the years. Uh, custard ware is always popular. Yellow custard ware, and I like it just with a hand-painted rose mm -hmm. on it. Don't you, yeah. Mitzi? Yeah, I know. It's And really they pretty. usually have a uh, state on the back of them. This one says 1912. They were souvenirs yes. from right. like a state fair. Right. And oh, then, wonderful. yeah, they're pretty. Look at this one. They're pretty? Yeah. This I love the roses. Not, they, yes, I do too. Yep. And then next on this shelf down here, I'll put this back up here. It's where, wonderful. I love chintzware. It's from England, isn't it? Yes. Johnson Company or something from England? Uh, Royal Winton. Yeah, Royal Winton. And this is the most popular um, pattern. It's called Summertime. And summertime, I mean, they all have kind of similar floral themes, but summertime is the most popular pattern. But uh, this one's a little different, a lot of blue. This one is a lot of green. 
and I like them all mixed together, don't I you? I do, too. They're in just a really... china cabinet, when you have all of them mixed, yeah. it's, it's a wonderful collection. Yeah, that's called chintzware. I have to do a blog post about chintzware next. Mm -hmm. That'll be nice. Bowl right here. I'm glad to see that my vintage wallpaper bracelets are showing up. I've got one on. <laughs> um, I just love vintage wallpaper, so... Anything and everything I can make with vintage wallpaper, I try to do. And they sell pretty well here, too, mm -hmm. don't they? They do. Yeah. They do. That's fun. And the beaded purses that you have in your hand. Yeah, we're going to do those next. Yes, yes. This is a mesh, enamel mesh, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. It's a metal that's been uh, enameled and then baked so that the color stays on. And there's a company called Whiting & Davis that um, makes, they're still in business. Yes, they are. But these were popular back in the 20s, and the flapper girls would wear these or use these. There's a small metal tag that will often be hanging on the inside. Mm -hmm. You can see that right there. Mm -hmm. And it says Whiting and Davis. Not all of them will have it, but some of them will. And that way you'll know for sure that you have a Whiting and Davis mesh purse. Mm -hmm. And that's nice to know who made your purse. Look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. And they just have a nice look to them. And they hang nicely on the wall so you can display your collection. This is a real pretty example. It's a child size little mesh purse, enamel mesh with pink and green. Very feminine. Yeah, it's Very really cute. pretty. And they make a really beautiful collection. Pretty one. Beadwork purse with beautiful beads. All very, very tiny beads and beaded fringe at the bottom. And again, these look beautiful, hung on a wall as a collection. Mm -hmm. They're just great. So much work went into these. Every bead is done by hand. It's almost got an Art Nouveau design. It's a really nice. It is very Art Nouveau, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, very yep. nice. I think it goes good with the ring I have on. Oh, let's see your ring, Mitzi. Isn't that nice? This is a cicada, mm -hmm. like the insect with the wings. Kind of a flapper girl right. style ring. It's very interesting. I love it. Mm. Now I'd like to show you some sterling silver items from my mom's showcase. These were made in the Victorian era. This is a powder jar with a beautiful sterling silver top. Here's a beautiful sterling silver mirror with a, kind of an Art Nouveau lady and a little angel and some beautiful floral designs, grapes and other vines twirling around. Another small powder jar, a nail file, and a pretty little dish with roses intertwined around the edges. And these candlesticks have more of a uh, simplified design. They're maybe more of a colonial look. They're not so much the Victorian um, heavily embellished look. And, and right now sterling silver has really gone up in value. Hopefully people aren't melting these down. But um, the designs are just so beautiful. The Victorian era was known for just lush and lavish over-the-top uh, designs. You can see the roses here. The technique used to make this type of item is called repousse and it is punched out from the back. You can see how it's indented and it creates this beautiful relief effect on the outside. It's called repousse. The worker uses a tool to press the metal from the underside so that it makes a relief design on the outside like that. The nail file uh, I didn't point out earlier um, is, is quite good looking. It has a lot of embellishment just like the other Victorian items. And you can see how during that era everything got uh, so much decoration on it. They didn't leave anything unembellished. That was the hallmark of the Victorian era. Lots of decoration.